WNBA play! How are you, Los Angeles? Come on, Hollywood, that's what I like to hear. What's up, my fellow Jedi? I'm Greg Miller, and today we're talking Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We've been waiting so, you can like, you know what? We're talking about Star Wars. Yeah! We've been waiting so long for details on this game. I can't believe it. Can you believe it, LA? And we're finally here to help us get things started. We've got the head of Respawn, Vince Zampella, and the director of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Stig Asmussen. Everybody give it up for Vince and Stig, come on! Get in there, how you doing? Good to see give me, give me the hug, Vince, let's get it going. Yeah! Yeah! Please, keep it going, they're making a Star Wars game. Guys, welcome to EA Play. Thank you. <laughs> what how, a great welcome. How are you feeling right now? No pressure. You're just about to announce maybe one of the biggest, if not the biggest, games of your lives. I'm going to let Stig answer this one. You're supposed to answer this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> off script. So off. Oh, yeah, we're totally off script. It's they so gave me cards. That was the dumb idea. Script. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome to be here. Um, I mean, it's EA Play. It's E3. It's Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really get any bigger than that. Yeah, this is something that Stig and I have been envisioning for years to see it come to life and be able to show you guys 15 minutes of gameplay today. <laughs> Uncut. All right, all right. So everybody's anxious to see what this 15 minutes is going to be. Yeah. For somebody watching right now who's just a FIFA fan, they don't know anything. What is happening? What is this game all about, Vince? This is a single player action adventure game set post. Oh, yeah. Huh? They're not dead, everybody. <laughs> Set post Order 66 after the events in Episode 3, when all the Jedi were hunted down. Well, not at all. When the Jedi were hunted down and eliminated. <laughs> so, Stig, that's the nutshell of the entire game. What are we about to see? Where are we at in the game right now for context? Okay, so Cal's, like, this takes place maybe about three hours into the game. Okay. So Cal's built himself up. He's not a lily padawan anymore, but he's not a full Jedi yet. Sure. Um, like Vince said, this is unedited. Um, we had one of our star players, Blair, <laughs> over there. Um, That's it right there! This is an expert playthrough. Okay. So we're going to see some really cool stuff. Um, he practiced it, a few times. <laughs> Two or three, Blair? Two or three? Yeah. Two or three dozen. Uh. <laughs> it takes place on Kashyyyk, which okay. is the Wookiee Wookie planet. Of course. And Cal's on a mi mission to restart the Jedi Order, and it takes him here to Kashyyyk. Um, and the Wookiees have been enslaved by the Empire, who's basically siphoning the planet for all its resources to uh, build up the uh, Imperial War Machine. Got it. All right, so I brought out my phone, not to be rude, of course. It wouldn't be Greg Miller if I didn't look at the Twitch chat. And yeah, they are all through with us talking. They'd like to see the game. We've gone on long enough. We're not going to drone. Let's do it. Vince, well, let's roll. would you like to kick it off? Let's go. Sap refinery lies dead ahead. Why does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we recovered proves it. 
Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? He said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. I need to get through here. Attention all units. We've got a contact on two stations at cargo pad 119 gallery. Keep to your posts and stay alert.
plug into this thing? Okay.
slice this. No guards. Congratulations. That looks pretty awesome. Thank you. I have Thanks. a million questions, and I know we're short on time as always. I want to point out, though, in the Twitch chat, Gwyn96 says, that's freaking cool. But he didn't use freaking. Um, <laughs> how does it feel to, I think, deliver, right? Like, you guys liked it, right? <laughs> I think I was looking at the Twitch chat. There's a lot of people who liked it. Like, what does that feel like to finally show this game? Oh, it's great. I mean, being involved with this team, you know, Stig and his team have done an amazing job. They've put so much of themselves into this game. To be able to be involved in something like this is just, you know, a dream come true. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, huge shout out to the team. Yeah. Um, everybody. Thanks, guys. On everybody who busted their butts on the uh, demo, but also the whole game. The whole game is coming together right now. So it's an amazing feeling. I'm just so proud to be up here, and I, I hope that... Uh, Star Wars fans understand that we're really doing our best to try to honor the brand. I mean, I think from... Yo, go ahead, clap. No, I'm going to stop you. <laughs> Whenever you want to clap for him, you clap for him. Uh, I think that's pretty evident from it. And I liked when we intro you guys were talking about the fact that this is a skilled person playing it, right? We all see it and we think it looks awesome. What are we missing by not having our hands on the controllers? Like, what, 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 is the, what do lightsabers feel like? Uh, I mean, it's fantastic, right? Yeah. Like, what? Because it looks like it's got weight to it and throwing it and catching it, right? Like, that's the impact I think I want from it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's it's really satisfying. I mean, the game itself, it's like, it's thoughtful combat, as Stig likes to call it. It's it's what you saw was a really good player. Yeah. Right? So you'll He's right have over to there again. He'll give out stuff. autographs after this panel. <laughs> <laughs> So you can block, parry, deflect. Like yeah. we want the combat to feel really good for people to go in and be able to like be part of that and size up the enemies where when things feel right. It, it's it feels really good. Yeah, it's 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 also it's about the uh, enemy arrangements as well. Like what enemies we're putting you up against, mm -hmm. how you go in and use your tools yeah. to take them down. Um, but it's not just lightsabers; it's the force as well. Sure. Well, that's part of yeah. this. You were talking to me uh, last night about it, right? This thoughtful combat. And the idea that when I watched the demo initially, my thought was, oh, these are canned animations, right? I'm doing a, a force grab and stabbing the guy, and that's all. I hit R1, and that happened. That's not that no, way. No, it's right? all freeform. Uh, so, like, you can go back in and replay things and do it differently, or you and I would have different Absolutely. Playthrough. And actually, the, the enemies react to each other in different ways. You saw the flame troopers fighting against the spiders. You could sit as bystander and just kind of watch that fight if you wanted to. Yeah. But you're not going to get any skill points if you do that. <laughs> and it's not any fun either. It's fun to watch sometimes, but it is. it's a lot more fun to play. You talk about the skill points. Are those going into the force abilities? Yeah. So we're going to have the classic abilities. We're going to have push, pull. We've got what we call force flip, which is essentially double jump, nice. which is nice because that's something that makes sense in Star Wars, a Jedi actually doing a, <laughs> a double jump. Um, but we have one unique expression of the force that you saw in there, which is slow, which is a little bit of the glue between force, push, and pull. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. I think I, I thought you couldn't top my favorite moment in the demo, right? Where you come around the corner, grab the stormtrooper, or force pull the stormtrooper, stab him. But when you force pull the stormtrooper and walked him into yes. the bolt, <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That's one of my favorite. I think the first time I saw that, I freaked out a little. No, you bit, actually yeah. said it better be in the demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. You delivered. Uh, tell me about 
the enemies we are seeing there, right? Because that's one of those things I feel like we're talking a lot about seeing things about, a lot about is we're running through the environment. You had different things. You had your normal stormtroopers. You had non-normal stormtroopers. Yeah, and this is just a small portion of the game, by the way. So there's a lot more that we haven't You're shown. You're saying that isn't the entire game. That is it, not. It's, wow, no, I'm surprised. No. But we got, we got our classic stormtroopers. We've got the scout troopers who you saw equipped with uh, kind of melee charged weapon. Um, we've got the flame troopers, but we also have the purge troopers whose task is... To, uh, Basically hunt Jedi, yeah. uh, soften them up before the Inquisitors come in. Um, and, and like we're seeing right here, right? Like this, this bad. That's the purge trooper. That's yeah. The, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, so new that the team created. In, yeah. There you go. Adding to the Star Wars lore. What, we're pointing at one that? guy. Did he create it? Just that one man did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a team effort that you led the charge? Jordan did the concept. <laughs> Good job, Jordan. Everybody Woo! great cheer for Jordan. So we're going through, and you have these new stormtroopers. You have your fire troopers. You have uh, one of my favorite droids of all time coming back. The KX. And then making me fight him? Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, you do. No. Trust me. You do. I do? Oh, right. yeah. Well, then talk about the other star of this 15-minute demo, right? The new droid, BD-1. There he is right there. No, BD-1. Oh. BD-1's in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, PD-1. Uh, he's adorable, as I'm sure you know. Uh, I immediately want him as a backpack, so just a heads up. If you're talking to me in the licensing department, that'd be All right. Um, we can make what does happen. he do in the game, right? Excuse me, we're hosting a panel. <laughs> you can keep it down over there. What, what are the uh, traits? What are we using as? Is he just flair? Is, am I using him for different well, things? Like, story-wise, he, he's Cal's companion. He's yeah. an explorer droid. Which is perfect because Cal's on this mis mission sure. for survival that's taken him to all these savage planets. Um, BD sounds for Buddy Droid One, which is uh, that's that's respawn. That's yeah, respawn. I, mean, it's, I don't think I didn't notice the wall running either. I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, respawn oh, yeah. made this game. Yeah, okay. Definitely inspired by BT, <laughs> yeah. uh, but the name uh, ended up sticking. Yeah. So, um, one of the cool factoids is he's, uh, his voice is authored by the legendary Ben Burt. Oh, nice. Um, who did all the sounds? Sound main sound designer in the original tr trilogy and yeah. beyond. Um, but he can hack doors, computers, as we saw in there. So I'm um, um, just scan some stuff there. Yep. Scan the doors. environment for like environmental storytelling, learn more lore about the planet. I saw him shooting out health packs. Is yep. that a canned animation after a fight? Is it a button I'm hitting? It's player input. Okay. Uh, whenever so like they want. Down on it? Whenever they want, B will jack the stim pack. Okay. There's a limited amount that you okay. can find more okay. over the course of the game. Um, and you're actually... In that moment, you're defenseless, so you got to choose wisely when you're going to do it. Okay. Um, we've talked, we've seen the gameplay. Without spoiling stuff for me, what's going on in the story? Like, obviously, Cal, yeah, I, I thought he was going to be way weaker as a Jedi. You know, just to, uh, tell me the whole story. What, uh, a to B, Stig, how's it go? What's the ending? <laughs> well, the, the Actually, you know what? Stop. Full stop. I can't believe I've gone this long in the panel without asking. Is Watto in this game? <laughs> Sorry. I can't say. But that's not a no! <laughs> Hashtag Watto 2019. I'll be retweeting them all after this panel. Thank you very much. But what's going on in the story outside of Watto should be in it? Um, well, you know, story's a really big deal, deal to us. We've created this with Lucasfilm. It's, we got to keep a really uh, tight lip on it. So I, I, nice. can't, I don't really want to go into too everybody. far. Go home. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the story. got to save it. Okay. I know one of the things a lot of people had been asking, right? I'd put up uh, stuff on Instagram saying, hey, give me questions. Community wanted to know. This is Star Wars canon, right? You totally said, canon. Okay. Totally legit. Okay. This and is a real, Cal's a real character. Yeah. You saw Saw, saw Guerrero in there. He's, he's uh, you know, obviously part of the Star Wars universe. Um, Seer, Cal's mentor. Yeah. They're all going to live in other places. Okay, yeah. that's great. Vince, how's that feel? No pressure. It feels great. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, we have... Uh, you act like it's so nonchalant. Are, You're making a Star Wars already. game. It's canon. Yeah, it's not nonchalant at all. It's amazing. Like I said, I'm just like... Shocked to be up here. I'm mean, like, I know it's a big yeah. deal to work with me, but it's okay. Uh -huh. be okay. We've been talking about this for like ten years. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, the other big community question I've seen a lot is, it's a Star Wars game, and Star Wars games in the past have allowed us to go light or dark. Is that a choice here? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> why not? Because. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, it goes back to the fact that Cal's authentic, yeah. and um, he has to 
fill a certain role so we can be used in other places. Sure. Yeah, this is a Jedi story. Well, that's the thing I appreciate the most, is that you guys are coming in and telling a story, right? right? Like, I think that's why so many of us are excited for it, is the idea that this is a Star Wars story, that you guys have something to tell, something to say, and a lot of walls to run on. <laughs> <laughs> Vince Stick, anything you want to say to the fans before we let you go? I mean, just, just thanks for the support. The, the, the energy here is great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we're fantastic. Greg's showing thanks us some stuff out. online. Like, everyone's the reaction is fantastic. Amazing, amazing moment. The, the team, badass. Thank you, guys. Yeah, go team. All your hard work. Now we just have to finish. Can't wait to bring it to you guys. There's so much more that you haven't seen yet. I can't wait to show you. Believe it or not, there's so much more. There is more at the Microsoft conference tomorrow. That's right. Vince Steak, thank you so much for coming out. November 15th, can't come soon enough. For those of you here at EA Play, the Respawn team has brought even more gameplay for you to check out over in the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Theater. And for those of you at home... Extended. I was about to do a bit. For those of you at home, you will stay tuned for Apex Legends. Yeah! That's what you're looking for. Thank you for the yeah. I was like, that's the corniest joke I put in this thing. No one's going to laugh. Hey, everybody, I'm Greg Miller. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We got more EA Play for you now. Woo!